Now what we're going to do today is I, I want to get this bit in here a bit right, not with bright green though. That's the wrong colour. We can use some mustard in here, I think. White. And just carefully looking at this. This has got a bit of, see this colour just here? It's got kind of a, a grey look to it, hasn't it? It's got grey, but it, it's kind of a minky colour. So we're going to we'll just first of all we'll go up here again like this, like we did with the yellow in the first place. And you can see I'm using the point a bit more now because I need to get the hairs in rather than, you know, putting a little bit more pressure on there. That's, that line, see, it's going up at an angle there. And it's white, we can do that in white, more or less. So we we'll get, get that in a bit more neatly there. And then we've got a line that comes The other thing I discussed with somebody today was um, it's always a good idea if you want, if you know when you've got videos, tuition videos, watch them first, then try your picture. You can have it running uh, while you do little bits and then stop it and then go back to it. You don't have to do it along with video. Uh, in fact, I would personally, I would never even attempt that. Because you can't watch a video, draw, and look at your picture. Well, not many people can, anyway. Um, anyway, it might seem obvious to some of you, but uh, maybe to others, maybe not. You know, maybe they think if they've got a video, they have to watch it, um, you know, while they're drawing. But you don't, obviously. It's much easier to do it this way. Um, just watch a video first. That's it. Then we've got just a white curl here. That's the white curl there. There. Uh, yeah, so really we've just got the basics in here and we're just uh, perfecting it really. See that white, the way that's ending there is just the other, the other side of it's just there under his nostril there, more or less. So just do that so you know it's in the right place. Although I measured this out before, I always check, I always double check. All the time I'm checking. And this is going up over his chin. Although that is that is lower there, and then it goes up a little bit here, and that's it, that's it, that'll do. We've just got to make it clear that this is in front of his chin. I want to call him a he, but it's called, um, the picture's called, uh, um, mo uh, what is it, model or something. Feline model. So these are quite subdued, but we can go over these in a bit of blue after. These bits just here, they need to be quite white on the tips there. A lot, you can see, is a totally different colour than this. Although his chin looks a bit white, it's, it's kind of whitey. This is pure white. Total difference. 
So we're going to have to put a bit more pink in there to differentiate that, I think. It is quite lined, but these lines in his chin, they must be softer because they're behind this white bit here. They need to be softer and, and fade back, fade back and away. Yeah, that's, this is far too light here, I think. You've kind of got to get the basics in and then you just sort of soften it up a bit. Then this bit here. Oops. Come around there. And then we've got a good whisker to guide us here, that whisker. Now I'm just going to remind myself, did I put that whisker in, that guide? No, I didn't. Okay, so I've got something going across here. I must have just uh, just done it impetuously. But yeah, it's kind of coming across here like that. And then, so that means this is this has got to be kind of lower than across like that. And we'll put some more black in there because that needs to be really black, that bit in the background there. Guide there. Um, just keep keep my bearings here a bit. You can get quite thin lines, even with the blunt. It's quite blunt. See that? Yeah, there you are. See? It's not sharp. It's just the pressure that you use. Say we wanted to do some lines here now, we could. Very, very little bit, but see how gentle that is. And they're there, those little, those little whiskery bits. This is actually looking quite good with putting the whiskery bits on, so we'll, we'll put some in. Just to show you that you always cross them over, you never do them all one way. Um, just to show you that there, it really works. They're yellow, that side, they're not white, so I won't do that. But yeah, these, I want to make that much darker in there before I do the whiskers over the top. Okay, so let's get some yellow on here, because this, I want to get this bit in here, right? Just on like that, and then these are, yeah, another layer here. Now, this doesn't have to be exact, it just has to make clear where the top of his arm is, and it's there. because you can make that look more whiskery afterwards. Um, that's got to be coming up here. And there's a bit going through here, see? It's not a straight line, it's just a little bit there. And we'll put some more black around these, around these bits. Just getting it in, kind of, in the right ballpark there. Soften it up with your fingers so it looks like fur. Keep away from the uh, <laughs> stick thing. St stump, I hate those. Don't think I've quite said that enough, have I? <laughs> they certainly wouldn't be choosing me for selling them. Oh no, they sell loads of them, they're very popular. Right, these are more, these are white, more white and pink in there. Then we've got this bit here, come down here. Nice and 
there I go. Uh, there I go. This is a bit on the bluey side, bluey and pink, but I'll just put it in the sky first. And then we've got some nice little flecky bits here. Put those in. They're not bright yellow, but I like to just do that afterwards. Just packs packs them back. Got my blue line in there, which I want to keep. And then we've got little dots there. Just little dots. Then we've got the blue. I'll just put it in as I see it. Um, just some blue, blue lines in there. See, it's not exact, but it's kind of doing that kind of thing. Yeah, that looks right blue. They need a bit of pink over them now. I've got a dark and these are nice. These are nice and blue. Make the most of those. Get that blue colour in there. And then we've got some nice streaky bits coming through there. But they've got white in them. Got white and blue together. Not complete lines, they're little bits. Now that bit there, see that's that's a lot more black in there. Um, I mean, it looks looks nice, but it, it's you need a black patch in there. You need that black up to make the rough stand out. And that needs to go back there. So it's all black in there. And kind of, so it's coming, the black is coming through here. And then through, through here, through here. And black up here. So... Yeah, I think at this point we can put those in. Got some little white flecks in there. Then knock them back because they're going back. You have to be a bit careful with these bits here because they are going back. But you want some kind of life back there, not too much. Let's get the black down. I'll use my long black. My, I like my short black at the moment because it's got a nice, it's got a nice wedge on it. I don't know if you can see this, but um, let me get it in the camera here. There. Is that too close? Yeah, probably. Just, it's got a nice wedgy look to it. You can, you can do that by sanding one side then the other. So it's like a little top of a screwdriver. Yeah, top of a screwdriver, so it's, it's wedgy and totally flat on the top, flat and thin on the top. That's very good for doing hairs. Right, we're going to get some black flecks in here now to show the, the background. And we're going to get some black sort of coming through up here to show that's just a little line of stuff there. And then this is, see this line is coming down here. We need to make sure we've got that in. So that's coming over there. And then this, yeah, yeah. We'd, we'd better do this bit first, I think, so we get, we get it right. And then this is a very good way for thinning down whiskers. Also makes the white hair stand out fantastically well. Just use a bit of a careful, careful um, handling there. I'll go over that in white. But that, when you go over white like that, it, it's going to need a sharp point at that point. Okay, so we'll just carry this through a bit here. And then we need, we'll need, we'll need this black coming up here a bit. See, it's, it's coming all through here. Got 
because it's all flecky, you can go over those bits of white. See, this is this is a line here, like that. So, you know, if you want to, you can just put that line in very gently, and then just follow it, doing the flecky bits. That's a good way to get angles in. If you try and do it with um, with flecky bits, it doesn't always work very well. It's a bit harder. That's the other thing, when you've got whiskers you can do you can do little you know, little bits of black and it kind of makes the the white ones stand out even better. Even if there aren't any black ones on the picture. It just gives a nice effect. It's just very slight. You don't need to go, you know, too overboard on that. by putting the black over that it makes it nice and streaky so not a lot of work it gives a nice effect Streets coming through there. Just measure that. Yeah, that's, there it is. And it's higher. That's this that's better, right? Place in there. Looking at that angle there. And 
Be careful, I'm not the only one that's poor. Things have got a little bit darkness coming like this, oh dear. to make clear that that's in the front of his chest. His paw is kind of in front of his chest. That's a bit heavier than that, but it's got to be there. Top of these bits here. So I'm here now. What's that? Oops. Oh, and that's it. This needs to go up a bit. some more pink through there. So look at these little flecks here. Is it more pink in there? Just knock it back. Just the pink really. Just the... And then this. That could be pink actually. Too bright, isn't it? See, 
with this girl's outlet page. Let's see if that does. Chisels, we haven't got through here. Look at that, how thin you can get those lines. 